Hello and welcome to the Nexus for our next part in our repulsor tank build. So as you can see, that is what we've got to do in this one. Now you're probably thinking about, um, sorry then, uh, about armaments. Where are all the guns going to sit? And this has a lot of them. <laughs> and we start doing that today. It also means that we've got some lots of uh, decisions to make as well. Uh, in terms of uh, what weaponry we're going to have. Now, a lot of them have um, different abilities, or you could swap them out. Uh, but once you choose which ones you want, so we have things like this, and if I can find the other one, and things like that. So we have to decide uh, on things like this. So they're both different, but we get to decide on how we want this, our tank, to look. So it's completely... Um, customizable so your tank might be different from someone else's tank so that's the cool thing about it it also means that we probably won't be using a lot of this it looks like a lot there but we won't be using all of it so without further ado this fix the turret point just here and start fixing our first gun okay so first things first is uh, this is the top section, which we'll need in just a minute. We are building our first weapon now. Now we need to decide whether we want uh, the twin bolt guns, which are these, which are like um, like just little bolt guns, really. So we either want two of them. Now you do have a little section on here that comes off. I'm just going to show you. This, uh, this section just here comes off. That will need gluing on. But as you can see, it fits in there quite nicely without being glued on. Uh, or we can have the uh, the LAS cannons, or the LAS cannons they're called. Uh, now, each one of these has um, different specs, obviously, uh, and different abilities. Uh, and you, Or you could just mix them up and put whatever you want on. But they do have different abilities, so it might be worth checking out uh, the power ratios and stuff like that. But what we're actually going to use... Are the laser ones so that's the ones that i've picked meaning our bolt guns we don't need so what we're going to do is we're just going to dob a bit of glue on the end there and they will sit in the recess just there and so that's what i'm going to go ahead and do now okay so there is our gun now this is going to sit just in here like so then we're going to glue this down on top just here and we want this gun to sit just in there. We're not going to glue the gun down um, just yet. We want to make sure we can get this recess in here so it sits in flush like so. And that ain't going to come out. We need it uh, loose. That way we can move it. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue this top section down just here. That's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so that is on and secure, and it moves. Um, so that's quite good. Easy to do and to get around. So next, what we're going to do is build the two side turrets and the back turret as well, and that's what we're going to do next. So once again, we have a lot of decisions to make. So here we have the two side turrets, which are just these two here, and we can either have the uh, Flagstorm Grenade Launcher, which is this one. So that's the Grenade Launcher. I'm going to zoom up. So we can either have the Grenade Launcher, or we can have the Storm Bolt, which are these. Uh, now I'm going to put... Now once again, you can chase it up, and they fit onto here. So uh, once again, so they just fit just in there. So I'm just going to show you. And they sit and they sit on just just like so and then these will go into our turrets which sit here which goes into here like so and then they will sit in there and they'll go above the three doors but the back door we can either have a turret like this or we can actually have something else so we can either have um, the grenade launcher or the bolt gun, 
We've also got a rocket pod, which is this section just here. Or we can have the Iron Hill heavy gun as well, which is this one. So we get to decide which one we're going to do. So the two side ones, I am going to fit the grenade launchers on. And the back, I'm actually going to fit uh, this rocket pod onto our back one. So it means the other ones we don't need. So without further ado, let's crack on. So I've gone ahead and completed one. I'm going to show you how I did it. Once again, we don't glue these in because they need painting. So they just get slid in. Uh, this is the, um, the rocket launcher there. This does get glued in and we've glued this section onto the barrel here. And then we've glued the magazine cover in as well, the little magazine that's there. So, yeah, so here we go. So we've got this here. Once again, it doesn't get glued in. This way we can actually turret it. And secondly, it's easier for when it comes to painting. So that just slides in like so. And once again, that can be manoeuvred. Now what we do is we need our tank over. So this is our tank. So we're just going to enlarge. So firstly, we're going to stick this one in here. And then this one in here. And they move around and they can fire up and down, which is really cool. And this one on the back, once again, we don't glue them in. This is due to painting and they come in and out quite easily as well. But once they are... Um, once they are painted, I will then glue them in. Um, it will probably only be the front one that's able to move. But that is where we are right now. And that is it for this section. So we're now starting to get some weapons on our on our tank. It's starting to look a, a lot more like a tank. A lot more firepower as well, which is really, really nice. Uh, like I said, there's all these blemishes over it. Do not worry, this will look really nice once painted. Anyway, that's it for this this part. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.